Plaquemines Parish orders work stopped on Louisiana's largest coastal project. The parish reimposed a stop work order on the $3 billion mid Barataria sediment diversion. John Snell reports the move comes as the Landry administration takes a second look at the whole idea. Construction workers hit the pause button on the biggest of all coastal projects downriver from Bell Chase. The sediment diversion would channel a portion of the Mississippi River into Barataria Bay with the aim of building 21 square miles of land over 50 years. Plaquemines Parish argues tens of thousands of gallons of water per second would raise the base flood elevation in nearby communities outside the hurricane protection system. They're saying that it could basically raise the base flood elevation a foot and a half to maybe sometimes three feet. Parish President Keith Hinckley ordered an immediate halt to the work while the parish and the state fight it out in court. We don't want to shut the project down, but we have to find a better way to do this. Um, you know, we know we have to have coastal restoration, but let's let's be smart about it. Let's not destroy a community. Mid Barataria is the centerpiece of the state's ambitious coastal master plan. But many Plaquemines seafood interests fear the collapse of fisheries. And studies show all that fresh water would virtually wipe out dolphins in Barataria Bay. The new administration of Governor Jeff Landry was already conducting a review of the diversion. Over the years, costs have shot up about four times the original estimates as design work became more precise and the project went through the detailed process of winning federal permits. So we really have to take a look at it because we don't want to keep spending all our money on one project. Some critics suggest they could live with a smaller version of mid Barataria, but computer models show a smaller diversion without the velocity of water would deliver significantly less sediment or less land but still pack many of the negatives. Last week, the state's new coastal restoration chairman, Gordy Dove, stopped short of saying he was ready to pull the plug. I don't want to dive into anything without looking at it first. The state could decide to go forward with the diversion, assuming state or federal judges don't kill it. But for the first time, opponents believe the political tide could be shifting in their favor. John Snell, Fox 8 Local First. Plaquemines Parish won two recent court victories. Appeals court judges have ruled the parish lawsuit must be heard first in Plaquemines Parish and not in Baton Rouge as the state wanted. The state coastal authorities have not commented on the order to stop work.